So, following on from my last video about stripping a TD5 injector, here is the same injector, which is a green top 15P one. I've dissected it a little bit more than I did do in the last video. So, like these little bits here, I've sort of broke them down a little bit more. So you've got your nozzle there, and then you've got your little tapered fitment, which goes down your nozzle. And then when it's spring loaded, it blocks the nozzle and then opens it again. And then you've got this little retainer, which holds all these little pieces together. So it's got like an internal spring loaded section and then an external spring loaded section. And then you've got this little valve here and then like a little spacer and all that lot goes together and goes in this little chamber. And then that all goes in to this little screw on section which forces it against that. So you've seen all that in the last video pretty much. And all I've done there is I just pop the spring off the end with the two little shafts and then you've got the solenoid there. So that's that. And then we've got a 10P one here which is stripped down because it was pretty curious because I thought it was actually the same internally as each other. And uh, the only difference may have been just like the nozzles. So obviously the nozzles are different. They look identical. You've got the 15P one there. And then you've got the 10P one there. So they look identical. But in actual fact, the 10P one, it's got larger holes than the 15P one. Yeah, but it's only got five of them. So on the end there, on the tip, it's only got five holes and they are larger. The 15P one, which has got six holes, which are a lot smaller. And the reason being, with the finer spray pattern and slight differences, they get better emissions. So that's the reason for that. So going through everything, I've obviously dissected this one and compared everything to that one and I've measured everything and it's all identical even to this chamber and all the orifices and everything they're all identical both on the 10p and the 15p now obviously they look slight different just different colorings and stuff but that's just because they came out in, in a different era I think so obviously with the nozzle differences and everything else like the measurements of the thickness of this and the diameters and internal diameters they're all identical the only difference i could see is on this section here which secures everything in on the threaded section that's got a shoulder on on the 10p one whereas the 15p one hasn't doesn't make any difference that that's irrelevant and also when you look at the diameter of the hole at the end this one's slightly bigger than this one, but that doesn't make any difference because both nozzles will fit in either or, so they're, they're interchangeable. And if you build everything up, everything will fit in that one, in that nose, whereas everything in, in this one will fit in that nose. So, like I say, the width on this from the top to bottom is the same as it is on this, and also, this section here, the thickness of that, is the same as that. The only difference I could see is when I had the injector fully built, this spring would compress one point, well, around 1.5 mil more than this would, yeah. But when you've got, like this, so you've got the length of these, is 1.5 mil shorter on this one but this take the tension up when you've got the full injector without actually compressing it this one it'll stay out a like 1.5 mil than this one so this one's resting this section inside this chamber the compression chamber it seems to be 1.5 mil already in more than this because that lives shorter. So in actual fact, if you work it out, that will compress the same fuel as that will. 
even though there's them two little differences. Now, what I'm going to do is because the 15p injector, when that's in the 15p head, it's at a slightly steeper angle. So like the 10p one, it'd be like that, and the 15p one would be like that. And that's why you get different pistons in the 15p, because they're slightly offset. So you get, you know, this swirl com combustion chamber in the middle of the piston. That's because the 15p head, they're at a more of an angle than the 10p head. And that's why they have different rocker shaft setups on the 15p's to the 10p's. So you should never get 10p rocker shafts mixed up and put it on a 15p head and vice versa. But you can put each injector into each as long as you set up the preload so you adjust it right down and then back it off one turn. So that's what I found out. So as for nozzles, like I say, that one, that is the 15p one, and that's got a six hole nozzle, which are finer than the 10p one, which has got a five hole nozzle. So like on the 15p, which is that one, so the part number off that one is L023PBC. And that's on the green top 15p one. And then you've got on the 10p one, you've got the part number L071PBC. And that's the 10p. That's the black top one, that. And obviously that one is the green top one, the 15p. So that's the only differences I could find. So yeah, you can just have a good look at everything. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna set up two heads with all the cams. So I'll set up a 15p head and I'll set up a 10p head with the correct cams in and with the correct rockers on. And then I'm gonna work out what the lift is, including the angle difference on this. So I'll put an injector in and I'll probably get a dial gauge on it or something. And I'll work out what the throw is to see if it is actually different. And if it's not, or if it's very, very close, then that means you could sort of interchange like nozzles in each injector, because obviously I'm after some larger nozzles and I'm doing a bit of uh, research on them to see if I can find one which will match without having to get, you know, like the expensive ones, what well, they say they've been rehoned out, but I'm not sure whether they have. But I want to get the genuine Delphi ones rather than the Farad ones because I've been told they're a little bit softer metal, the Farad ones, so they can wear a bit quicker. And I've just found one tiny, tiny difference, which I don't think will make much difference. As you see on that, it's got a little hole in it on that side and on the other side. Whereas on the 15p one, it hasn't. And that's the only difference I've found. And like, obviously you're gonna have tiny sort of like tolerance differences. For example, sometimes you can't fit this spring-loaded shaft into other ones because it's slightly different, you know, tiny little tolerance differences. So, I mean, I don't recommend sort of interchanging bits into one injector from another, but as for the nozzles, I think that would be totally fine, I reckon. I think it will be anyway. Just all depends on, you know, that lift when I do the setup in the heads and see how much like the lift difference is. Hopefully it's the same. So I'll let you know in the next video. Yeah, and the other thing as well, 15p injectors, they say they run at higher pressure than the 10p injectors. Yeah, I think they do, but I think the main reason is because the nozzle holes are a lot finer and a lot smaller than the 10p ones. So obviously the pressure is gonna be increased to force it out of the smaller nozzles. I mean, it could be a lift difference as well, but I don't think it is. 
But like I say, I'll find out when I measure, you know, like each head and see what the lift is on each injector once it's adjusted up correctly. So that's my findings anyway, so I thought I'd just update you all on that.